you do not know the privilege of being a mother. I won't be moved by sympathy, no matter who you bring. Have you faced an assault? This is not over. Saren is unstoppable. My mind is filled with his light. Everything is clear. Start talking, Benezia. What's Saren's next move? I will not betray him. You will... You... You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. So you could turn on me again? 
Yes, but it would not be my will, Shepard. People are not themselves around Sam. You come to idolize him, worship him. You would do anything for him. The key is Sovereign, his flagship. It is a dreadnought of incredible size, and its power is extraordinary. Sovereign's not like other ships. Where did it come from? I cannot say. The Geth did not build it. Its technology is far more advanced than that of any known species. The longer you stay aboard, the more Saren's will seems correct. You sit at his feet and smile as his words pour into you. It is subtle at first. I thought I was strong enough to resist. Instead, I became a willing tool, eager to serve. He sent me here to find the location of the Mew Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. And I assume you found the coordinates? Two thousand years ago, the Rachni inhabited that region of our galaxy. They discovered the Relay. The Rachni can share memories across generations. Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. I took the location of the relay from the Queen's mind. I was not gentle. You can still make it right. Give me the information. I was not myself, but I should have been stronger. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it, please. Knowing the relay's coordinates is not enough. Do you know where he planned to go from there? Saren wouldn't tell me his destination. But you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You sh You should... Oh, you should! Mother, I... don't leave! Fight him! You've always made me proud, Liara. Die! I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. Hold on. We've got Metagel. Maybe we can... No. He is still in my mind. I am not entirely myself. I never will be again. Mother. Good night, little wing. I will see you again with the dawn. No light. They always said there would be a...
This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. We filled you with enough plasma to pop a tank. This vessel is at the edge. Yet, she struggles. You cannot see her magnificence. We are breathing on the embers. We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. Did you order your people to kill the science team? No. We were locked away here. The children are beyond our songs. They have been lost to silence. The children we birthed were stolen from us before they could learn to sing. They are lost to silence. And their suffering. They cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as they are. If you're sure they can't be saved. It is... Lamentable, but necessary. Do what you must. Before you deal with our children, we stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? Look, those tanks? Acid. Strong enough to kill anything, no matter its biology. They wouldn't have installed that if they weren't afraid of the consequences of her getting loose. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is the chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us. Or return our people to the silence of memory. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children.
Are you here to secure the situation? How are you holding up? You must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. Do you understand? I don't understand anything yet. What were you doing here? Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Ragnar's ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. A thousand year old egg hatched? Yes. Very tough to be so long frozen. That it survived the centuries. This is miraculous. Binary Helix planned to clone Rachni. Mass produce them. Create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not the common Rachni. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to the Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. This is fascinating, but we don't have time to chat. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. Uh, I am thinking that the neutron purge must be set off. How do we set off the purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then I will get near a destruct- <laughs> to the facility and am at your disposal. Activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Code input 8750200079. Code Omega, local execution. Verify code Omega execution in 120 seconds.
What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mu Relay? The Mu Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the Commander resign when I wasn't looking? We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, Commander. This is a tough mission. We're all on edge. Everyone go get some rest. Crew, dismissed. A very report is away, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Navaria? And then release the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? This queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. My children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. Yes, Commander? Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. Why am I glad to be off of Novaria? I don't know which was worse, the cold or the corporations. One will freeze your balls off, the other will sell them out from under you. With all due respect, Commander. How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. Takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. I have to go. Alright, see ya. If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. Don't pretend it doesn't bother you. She was your mother. She was. But she was not. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be. Before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. The best of your mother lives on in you. Her determination, her intelligence, her strength. That is kind of you to say. I appreciate your concern, but I'm fine. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard.
Commander. Good to see you. I gotta go. Commander. Oh, before I go, you said you're serving with Commander Shepard now? We saw him on the news here. He's cute. Later, Sith. Tell me you didn't hear that. Your sister, I assume? Until I get home and kill her. That's Sarah, the youngest. Surprised to see you here, sir. Thought you'd be chatting up, what's her name? To Sony? They are. Why would you think that? Scuttlebutt says you got a bit of a thing for her. I could understand why. The crew's off limits with the regs against fraternization. And at least she looks like a woman. You think I'm interested in Liara because she's the only one I'm allowed to date? So you are interested in her? Of course, it could be politics. Alien diplomat's daughter, us under orders to make nice with the bug-eyed monsters. What's up? You didn't come by to eavesdrop on family mail. Your family seems to be important to you. Yeah, we've always been close. Me and my sisters especially. With Dad on duty so much, I had to help Mom raise them. After helping raise them, your sisters still talk to you? Amazing. Things were tense between Sarah and me for a while. Then we... Sounds like a story. Feel like sharing? Sarah got herself a boyfriend who wanted to go faster than she did. Mike. I didn't think he was a bad kid, just pushy. Lynn would send me these worried vidmails and I'd tell her to relax. Where were you when this was going on? I was on active duty. Sarah was graduating high school this year. It was only a couple of years back. They were on Amaterasu. At the time, I was assigned to Chernobyl. Same cluster, but a dozen hell why away. Close enough to talk regularly, too far to make it back in an emergency. I couldn't afford a fast packet flight. Sounds like that situation didn't last. Mike thought they'd go for a romantic walk in the woods, because he figured it was past time they did the deed. She levered Mike face first into a tree and left. Didn't have a scratch on her. Good thing mom and dad had us all learn some kind of self-defense. I took emergency leave and walked Sarah to school for a few days. You traveled all the way home to walk your sister to school. It was only a dozen light years, like a day's cruise. It's not like it was going to Earth or something. My last day out, Mike was waiting for us. Sarah had told her friends, so everyone at school knew what he did. He wasn't happy. I wanted to snap him in half, but Sarah gave me this look, this, let me handle it, I need to do this alone look. She kept her cool, God bless her, as he screamed in her face. She just let him vent. Then he tried to punch her. I swear, she just flowed around him. Next thing I knew, he's face down on the sidewalk, and there's blood everywhere. That's unbelievable. Sarah must be as good as you. Better. I'm more or less a straight-up punter. When he swung, she just... She wasn't there anymore, and he fell. She helped him stop the bleeding and he called an ambulance. She told the paramedics he fell. Before they took him to the hospital, Mike touched Sarah's arm. I thought he was gonna end up on the ground again. But he hung his head, whispered, I'm sorry, and started crying. And she hugged him. The Williams women are a decisive bunch, Commander. We do things when we're ready. Not before, not after. Where was your father during this? Wasn't your family stationed near him? Dad always wanted to serve in space, but he wanted us to have real ground under our feet. He'd say, space is beautiful, but you can't raise a family there. I cannot rest from travel. I will drink life to the lees. All times I have enjoyed greatly have suffered greatly, both with those that love me and alone. For always roaming with a hungry heart, much have I seen and known. Cities of men and manners, climates, counsel.
Council's government. I didn't know you liked classical literature. Ulysses was my dad's favorite poem. Every time he shipped out, he recorded me reading it. He had a dozen versions when he retired. Does he still like it? I sure hope so. I read it to his grave every time I go home. Dad passed on a few years back. He's probably still watching, though. So behave. You mean from wherever we go after death? Dead on, Skipper. He's with God now. That's not a problem with you, is it? That I believe in God? You know that old saw, there's never an atheist in a foxhole? I've been in a lot of foxholes. Yeah, I guess you have. I've met a few people who were really weirded out by my faith. Because I work in space, I can't believe in a higher power. Jeez. Hello, have you people looked out the window? How can you look at this galaxy and not believe in something? I should get back to my duties. Didn't mean to take up so much of your time. We'll talk later, Williams. Looking forward to it, Skipper. Commander? We'll talk later, Williams. Looking forward to it, Skipper. What do you want, Shepard? Why did you become a Lots person? of reasons. Such as? Such as, I needed to get out of our system. I needed to eat. I needed to survive. Why not stay? I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. What happened? I was betrayed. I was head of a small tribe. We were trying to restore order after the war. But the other tribes were against us. They followed Jared, one of the few warlords who survived the war with the Turians. But he was old, and so were his ideas. He wanted to continue the war. He wanted us to fight. Turians, Solarians, each other. It didn't matter who, as long as we were fighting. What did you want? I just wanted Jared to shut up. To stop his ranting. I wanted him to stop leading the tribes astray. But he couldn't understand how much things had changed. We didn't have the numbers to go to war. Even if we did, the genophage made sure we couldn't replenish our numbers fast enough. I told them all to forget about war. We needed to focus on breeding, at least for one generation. And for a while, we were getting through. Some of the tribes started coming around. I take it the warlord didn't appreciate that. No, he didn't. He arranged to crush with the tribes, a meeting on neutral ground. He wanted to talk. We met at the Hollows, near the graves of our ancestors. The skulls of our dead laid bare to remind us where we come from, where we all go. It's as sacred as any Krogan place can be. Violence is forbidden. It sounds like a trap to me. You must have suspected as much. I did. But when your father invites you to a crush, well, there are some laws that even we hold sacred. Jared was your father? He was. Until that day. We talked. But we didn't get anywhere. When it was clear that I wouldn't join him, he gave the signal. His men leapt from the graves of our ancestors like Krogan undead. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. I escaped with my life. 
not before I sank my dagger deep into my father's chest. That is why I left, and that's why I'll never go back. So long, Rex. Shepard.